I believe that you have had, in this recent week or so, you've had some very serious work that you've had to take care of. For the first time ever, the Look Who TV team uh, partnered with us to film a threat assessment that we did with a, with a client. Uh, this gentleman's daughters have been missing for 24 months. Um, they were promised certain things on social media. They turned into runaways, and they fell into the hands of a group of human traffickers. Uh, this gentleman met up with us. Uh, the footage you've seen, you've seen us doing the risk mitigation. Uh, on the footage, you can see we do our security checks. You know, the gentleman got searched. Uh, we had ran several background checks on him. Uh, everything had checked out. Um, he paid us the money, and uh, we traveled down to Texas, and we were able to retrieve these young ladies. Um, so, you know, we just wanted to give uh, the people more of an in-depth look on what we do on a daily basis, just so they know that we're just not on the Internet running our mouth. We're active in the field. Uh, we're not just guys who talk. You know, when they hear these stories about bounties being put on my head and things like that, now they see why. And, and you can see why I'm still alive right now because of the men you see sitting here with me. You feel me? Uh, you know, I move with monsters, bro. You feel me? In order to fight evil, you got to be able to combat these people who can match on these levels. You know, we've been able to do amazing things and we've had to exact heinous activity on, on, on bad people. So, you know, uh, you got the raw footage, uh, the Look Who TV team. Shout out Brian Cooper. Shout out Ron Potter. Shout out Austin Rudin. Uh They're going to send you a cinematic version of it. So you can put that out so that people can see it. Definitely shout out to Swap. Good! How long have you been doing this type of work? And, you know, what is, like, the craziest situation you guys ever been in? Well, we've been doing it since 2010. <laughs> and uh, the most craziest one... Uh, unfortunately, both my brothers uh, just came it? home from uh, from a little vacation. <laughs> you feel me? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Turn up God. I want to tell it. Turn up God, man. You know I'm 39 years old. I've been doing this shit since since 2010. Yeah, 2010. Probably a little bit longer though. You feel me? But yeah, we had we had straight op shootouts. That's what I call op shootouts. He called anybody an op. That's not. That's not what we on. They goofies. They 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 clowned out. They drink. They they ain't drinking on no Goulet. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't, we didn't have several Kool exchanges. Of, no we didn't have several but granny. Several close calls. The first. The, the my situation was. I'm going through the gangway, shooting them slid, on my mama. Then the kilters. They shot a four a four a four nick. My mama ain't hit nobody. Oh, God. My dumb ass caught they ass like it. They was in the PT Cruiser. Come here. All I heard was, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Make a nigga dance. Like my murder cha cha dance. Murder cha cha on yeah. my daughter. That like bitch I coming murder out. Cha -cha dance. Make sure y'all get that baby game to see the murder cha cha. So, so, you know, like after we would do this type of stuff, it would bring backlash, bro. You feel me? Like, my son, my son, my son, BD, guess what? I love my son. Ain't saying time I die. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Motherfucker can't respect that. That why, that why, that why. Hold on, I got an L on my back. Let's go. Double G shit. In the name of the big fella. God. The, the guys call me the big fella, man. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it be getting crazy, Cam. And, like, I just wanted you... To have that, you feel me? And it's going to be more to come, you feel me? Because, you know, we active in the field, bro. Like, um, human trafficking is a $12 billion a year business. And the United States of America is the biggest purchaser of this business. Child pornography and human trafficking. So, you know... It's it's a it's a, it's a it's an ongoing battle. You feel me? I've been able to get the homies and the guys to get on an honorable path in order to combat this type of activity, and we just standing on business. And I don't like big things. I don't like. What you don't like, bro? Huh? What you don't like? I don't like a nigga hit a woman. No, we don't play that. I don't like a nigga touch a kid. We don't play that. 
and I don't like bitch ass niggas. <laughs> oh my daughter. Double G shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey, you hear me, Gam, though? See, they keep calling you Cam, you know? You Gam. Yo, you ass Gam. Gam, but do go on point. He, I'm, on, I'm on my feet, you hear me? You Gam, you Gam Gabon when I'm on this camera, you hear me? I ain't gonna lie, Gam. They tried everything they could this time. We went on this, this retreat. Hey, yeah, this hey, was a this one was hey, crazy. Hey, damn, listen, I got stung in the mouth by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me, facts, guys? Facts, facts, facts. I yeah. literally got stung in the mouth by a bee. I said, the next bee steaming, I'm going to bite this motherfucker head off. You know, I'll tell you this. Like, about six or seven years ago, it was different. Like, you know, they would have real lookouts, like guys that was dangerous. They making so much money now, boy. They got lazy. You feel me? They that's got, the worst thing you could do with us. They got meth heads passed out in the yeah, car. Meth is head. You feel me? They got like other little sex workers trying to watch the other yeah. ladies. Don't worry about it. We come, man. Let me. We've been, we've been we've been able to uh, do some good intercepts because of that, for sure. Damn, that's what and it is. The footage is gonna drop exclusively through Look Who TV with Cam shout Capone. Out, shout out Look Who, man, my daughter. You gonna get it all, bro. That's Killer Kells finna come home too, man. Killer Kells be home. He be Killer Kells finna Kills, come home. Man. You know that. I love Kimo. <clears throat> Kimo finna come home. Shout out Kimo, my daughter. And I want to say something. Every video, it be guys talking about the Sauce Montana dude. Stop playing with big man. Fella. But hold home. on. But every time somebody make that comment, it's a black man, a grown man. So that lets me know that Zesselmania is running wild right now. Because why is all these men talking about South Montana? Oh, I heard the facts. The moles on over there on uh, the moles over there on uh, on across 55th right there, like on Aberdeen, 56 and all that. South Montana was fucking them. Fucking them niggas, bro. Merchant. On Tuka Gray, folks. I heard about that, folks. Oh, oh, no. The most fucking, the most fucking that hey, nigga, you hear me? Hey, Law, y'all ain't righteous, Law. I'm sorry, Law. My bad. I'm sorry. Hey, fa- hey, tell ain't the righteous, Law. Tell the most face the east. <laughs> I wouldn't introduce y'all to Grand Goo, but that'll make your, your ass a die. But I'm hey. going to say, y'all ain't righteous. The most fucking saucy by oh, time. She said she love the most. <laughs> That's evil, bro. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. TP, folks. Hey, Gam, what's the next question, though? <laughs> what's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.